Good day, everyone. Today's 10 interesting facts is on Malcolm Reed from Star Trek Enterprise. This character was hard to get to know during the series, but we do find out some things about him. So, let's get into it. Number 1. Malcolm Reed was born on September 2nd, 2117, into an English family with a strong naval tradition. His grandfather was an ordnance officer in the Royal Navy, and his father and great-uncle, who had died in the line of duty aboard the HMS Clement, had served as well. Growing up, Reed was raised on the water. He knew how to handle a boat before he could even ride a bicycle. He studied all the great naval battles, and like his ancestors before him, he wanted to serve aboard a seafaring vessel, but his aquaphobia, which he thought he might outgrow, rendered him unable to follow in the footsteps of his family. Reed had one sister named Madeline, an uncle named Archie, and at least two unmarried aunts. Number 2 Reed had a rather distant relationship with his parents, who questioned if he was in some kind of trouble when contacted by Archer. He also found it hard to make close relationships and he also had several unsuccessful romantic relationships before joining the Enterprise. As a child, Reed had always wanted to build a time machine to see the future. Reed was an Eagle Scout, holding 28 merit badges, including one in exobiology. When asked about his favorite foods, his parents conveyed that Malcolm rarely expressed personal preferences, normally eating whatever food was put in front of him. Reed was allergic to dust mites, oak pollen, tropical grasses, and plant enzymes. He took injections to treat his brolim allergy. Pineapple, which contained this, was one of his favorite foods. Number 3 Unable to follow his family's traditions, Reed decided to join Starfleet. Reed took a rather serious and traditional approach to his position as a Starfleet officer. Around 2149, Reed, as a young ensign, was recruited into Section 31 through former Starfleet officer Harris. At the time, Reed was a fresh officer who was excited to be in covert operations. However, he later left the organization, or so he thought, and initially having no further contact with Harris after 2151 until he was contacted again in 2154. Over the course of career, Reed kept track of the number of planets he had stepped foot on, which had reached 32 with Mars in 2155. Number 4 Reed was the senior armory officer aboard the Enterprise. He helped complete the ship's first mission, which was intervening in a Suluban plot to cause civil war in the Klingon Empire. His quarters aboard Enterprise were located on B-deck. Number 5. He and Travis Mayweather became two of the first humans to walk on a comet. They were stranded, and the Vulcans saved them by the use of the tractor beam technology. Later that year, Enterprise was attacked by an unknown enemy. The weapons on Enterprise were not powerful enough to deter the enemy. Reed and Tucker led the team that built phase cannons so that the ship would be prepared in case of another attack. The weapons of the Enterprise still had no effect on the enemy until Reed recreated a power surge and transferred it to the weapons. The blast disabled the enemy ship and it retreated. Number 6 Reed's personal emphasis on Starship Protocol caused him to notice the efficiency of Enterprise's crew when reacting to combat situations. This prompted him to devise a state of tactical alert which he saw as a means of improvising and improving readiness. Captain Archer approved of his idea, and it was quickly implemented. Number 7 During the mission to find the Zindi weapon, Reed was unhappy with the assignment of Major Hayes and his team of Makos to Enterprise. He felt that Hayes was trying to subvert his authority in an attempt to take over security on the ship. This caused Reed to react poorly when Hayes suggested a series of training sessions for the senior officers with his team. A training session between Hayes and Reed ended up being a little bit more than a fist fight, 
and both were chastised by Captain Archer. This had the effect of clearing the air between them, so much so that Hayes told Reed that he and his people no longer felt like outsiders. Number 8 During the final days of the mission, he led a team that boarded a sphere in order to get information about the sphere builders, the aliens who were behind the plot to destroy Earth. During this action, one of the Makos, Hawkins, was killed by the sphere's defenses. This had a profound effect on Reed. After Major Hayes was killed in the attempt to rescue Yoshi Sato, Reed took over the Makos. He led them on the final mission aboard the weapon, and helped to successfully destroy it. Number 9 Reed was still serving aboard Enterprise with the rank of lieutenant when the ship was decommissioned in 2161. He participated in the crew's final mission to rescue Shran's daughter Tala from alien kidnappers on Rajal 10. Although the mission was a success, his friend and crewmate Trip Tucker sacrificed himself shortly thereafter in order to save Captain Archer. Afterward, Reed was in attendance at the founding ceremony for the United Federation of Planets. Prior to Archer's speech, Reed conveyed his desire to continue working with Captain Archer on the latter's next assignment, believing Archer was not ready to be an admiral. Number 10 Malcolm Reed is the man the crew turns to for weapons training and target practice. It was Reed who presented Captain Archer with the crew's new hand weapons called phase pistols, and the training the crew in their use. Although Reed initially was skeptical about using the newly approved biotransport platform, he has used the transporter probably more than anyone else on the crew because of its tactical advantage. When Archer and other crew members were taken hostage in their first encounter with the Andorians at the Vulcan Sanctuary of Pajem, Reed led a munitions team to the surface via the transporter to mount a rescue attempt, which he accomplished. He has made technological strides in other ways, such as perfecting a stable EM barrier, also known as a force field. When a strange growing organism invaded Enterprise and tried to absorb several crew members, Reed needed to find a way to stop the creature from spreading and capturing more people. He had used a prototype based on specs on the database and found a way to control the particle density, something which hadn't been accomplished before. Another accomplishment was a tactical alert that saved Enterprise at a crucial moment. Because of this, Archer recommended that the alert and accompanying protocols be made standard procedure. He also boosted the phase pistol and phase rifle power to 10 megajoules when Enterprise was being attacked by the Borg. I do hope you like this video. What do you think of Malcolm Reed? Let me know in the comment section. If you'd like to join as a YouTube member and support the channel, click the join button and select a perk. Take care and have a great day.